Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five of my newborn favorites. So as most of you know, I am currently pregnant and expecting a baby in mid-January. So I thought I would share some things with you guys that I've really enjoyed during the newborn stage. And since this is my fourth full-term pregnancy, I kind of have an idea of the things that I like and the things that we've used. And so hopefully this will be helpful to you. So the first item that we've really enjoyed is a variety of different swaddling blankets, wraps, and sleep sacks. Those things are really important for making sure baby is really snuggly and secure, and sometimes it even helps them um, sleep a little bit better. So let me show you some that we've used in the past. One is a really snuggly, this is like an organic cotton knit blanket that's so soft, and I really like this blanket a lot, especially if you're having a winter um, a winter baby. This is a really nice weight because it's a little bit heavier and um, very stretchy. The second blanket is like a kind of like a waffle kind of material, a waffle knit. And it, again, it's really stretchy. This one's a little bit smaller and a little bit um, lighter weight, but this is really nice to use for like a car seat blanket or a little blanket on their lap if they're sitting in a bouncy seat or a rock and play or something like that and you just wanna tuck a little blanket around them, this one is perfect for that. And the next blanket is really popular, but I love having a couple of these muslin swaddling blankets. The brand itself is not that important. I just love how lightweight these are. Um, they're multi-purpose. Sometimes I use them as a, um, a nursing cover on the go. Um, I just love how lightweight these are and snugly soft. They seem to get softer every time you wash them. And so this is a new one that we picked up for our baby. Um, and it has little hedgehogs on it, which I thought was super cute. <laughs> so those are the blankets. And here's a couple of the wraps that we have. Um, this one is a Swaddle Me brand. So it has Velcro here on the sides. And then it also has Velcro um, inside under here. And so this is just really nice for making sure the baby um, just feels snuggled. And it lets their legs and hips be free. But it kind of keeps their arms snuggled up close to their body. Sometimes my kids would like to have their arms snuggled by their face so they could chew on their fingers, um, but they just really liked these kind of Velcro wraps. And another one that I'm excited to try out this time that we haven't tried before, but I've heard a lot about, is another swaddle. It's called Love to Dream. If you follow Angie on This Gathered Nest, she raved about these for her twins, and so I was like, well, maybe I'll try one out for this baby. So the baby's hands kind of go up here, and then the legs go down below, and it just looks super snuggly, and I think it'll be great for allowing the baby to still move his arms a little bit, um, but still have them kind of contained so that he's not startling himself. And so I'm kind of excited to try this one out and I'll let you guys know what he thinks about it. So secondly, I wanna mention some of my favorite newborn clothing. And so some of the things I really love to have on hand for that newborn stage is um, zip up sleepers. So here's one, this one happens to be um, a Carter's brand zip up sleeper. I really like the zip ups a lot better than snaps just because at night when I'm super tired, I don't want to be snapping a thousand snaps in the middle of the night. So I much prefer um, sleepers that have the zipper feature that go all the way down. It just makes diaper changes that much quicker at night. There's actually another zip up sleeper from Target. It's the Cat and Jack brand and they actually make theirs it zips from the top down. So basically you can zip it up just to the baby's waist, change the diaper, and then zip it back down. So you don't have to completely undress the baby. Um, I'm super excited to try this one out. I actually found this at a secondhand store we have nearby. And so I picked one up and I was like, oh, I'll try it out and see if we like it. Um, but this is just another um, zip up sleeper option. Another thing I like to have for that newborn stage is these little sleeping gowns. This one's a Carter's brand. It has these cute little foxes on it, which I thought were fairly sweet. But basically these just go down kind of like a dress or a gown and then they're elasticy at the bottom. And so it makes it super easy to just slide it up, change the diaper and slide it back down. Another great feature about this that I really like is that it has the optional little hand mitten that you can um, cover up their little fingers so they're not scratching their faces. So that's a really nice feature on this particular gown that I really liked. The next newborn clothing item that I like is the side snap t-shirts. 
So this is a long sleeve side snap tee and this is a Carter's brand. And again, it has the little hand mitts here and then just buttons down here. It's super easy just to open it up and tuck their little arms in and snap it closed. So these are really nice and I got the long sleeve ones um, this time since our baby's gonna be born in the winter. And I went ahead and bought some, some pants to go with it. So they're super easy to mix and match. And along those same lines, I also got him a couple of these side snap onesies. So this has the built-in bottom part already there. So those are really convenient. And the last item is just some basic onesies. These are actually ones I picked up from Target with a coupon. And this is the um, Cloud Island brand from Target. But I liked how it had a really nice wide v-neck here, which will be super easy to slide over his head. Between spit up and blowouts, it's nice to have a good variety of outfits to choose from, especially in that newborn stage. My third favorite item for the newborn stage is my baby carrier. And I've made a separate video on baby carriers, which I'll link above. My favorite type of baby carrier for the newborn stage is my ring sling. So I have this beautiful um, rainbow ring sling here. This is actually a wrap conversion ring sling that I got made by Sleeping Baby Productions. And I will link their website below. Jan, who owns it, does a fabulous job making these ring slings. And they are perfect for getting a really nice tight fit and keeping the baby really nice and close. They're also really easy to throw in your diaper bag. I know a lot of people like to use stretchy um, wraps for the newborn stage. I had a Moby wrap with my first daughter, but I felt like it was too overwhelming, the quantity of fabric, because I'm so petite and short. It just was way too much fabric to wrap around my body. Um, I have heard some people mention they like the Solly wrap, and I haven't personally tried that out. I think it's a little bit more lightweight fabric. So let me know in the comments below if you have a Sully wrap, do you like it better than the Moby? Um, I've looked at them online and I'm considering getting one just to have them as another option for um, as a baby carrier. So, <laughs> so let me know if you like the Sully wrap. My fourth favorite item is to have somewhere for the baby to sleep. Obviously, um, babies sleep quite a bit, and so having somewhere where a baby can sleep is kind of important. So what I have found to be really useful is a rock and play. My babies tend to like sleeping at an inclined position, so the rock and play has been perfect for that. Uh, we also own a pack and play that has you know, an adjustable height feature, so you can put like a little changing table in there and a little newborn um, sitting area. So between the rock and play and the pack and play, that usually works well for us until the baby is ready to transition to their own bedroom. My fifth and final newborn favorite is diapers. <laughs> Obviously, babies go through a ton of diapers. Um, we have cloth diapered in the past. I, cl I probably cloth diapered the most with my first daughter. So with this baby, I'm anticipating using um, disposable diapers, but also doing cloth diapers a little bit as well. So there are several options for more like crunchy, um, natural disposable diapers. Um, a lot of people like Honest Company, um, Seventh Generation. I've tried Honest Company. I wasn't super impressed with them. I like Seventh Generation diapers pretty well. Um, my favorite brand of disposable natural-ish diapers is a brand called Earth's Best. Um, I've just felt like they work the best for my kids. They fit them really well. I haven't had as many issues with like leaking and things like that. So I'm definitely planning on having some Earth's Best diapers for this newborn stage. And then we will probably also do some cloth diapering. And I've done a separate video talking about our cloth diaper stash and what we use for cloth diapering, which I'll link above here. I mostly use like pre-fold diapers inside of a cover and just make it super simple. Um, the hardest part is just keeping up with the laundry. I think that's gonna be the most challenging um, with having four kids and you know two adults. So we'll see how that goes, but I would like to cloth diaper at least part-time because it cuts down on the amount of disposable diapers that we have to buy. And as far as wipes go, I usually just use like a spray bottle with some water in it and some cloth wipes for cloth diapering. I'll also probably be using these water wipes. The only ingredients in these wipes is water and grapefruit seed extract, which is really great um, for the baby's you know, sensitive skin. You don't want a lot of funky ingredients in there. And so these um, wipes had really good ratings on ewg.org. So I'm definitely looking forward to using these as well. 
So that's it for my newborn favorites. Um, really having a baby doesn't have to be super complicated. Um, you don't need a ton of extra stuff. So these are like my bare bones, minimum newborn must haves. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What are your favorite newborn things? I'm getting more and more excited about welcoming our new baby boy. Thank you as always for watching and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.